All right. Um, I don't know what movie this is, but here, uh, nothing too big nor shattering. I have uh, a new window. Now this is on the landing downstairs. So there's a new window there. A new slide by. So I did that, and going upstairs. By the way, I have uh, plastic on the doors of the bathroom here because I'm putting uh, um, uh, finishing up the rest of the drywall. As you can see, I have the corners patched. I have to put on uh, some protected corners yet on these parts here, on all the other corners, the metal protectors. I have a fan going here to. Uh, get this uh, part of the drywall dried up so I can get to work on it some more. I get all this. This is what it's looking like here. And here we have a new window here. That's the first one I put in. This is in the bedroom. Walking away here. And then going around, there's the last one I put in just today. I finished it up. And here's a new window there. And there's a new window there. So we have all new windows upstairs here. And it's still kind of like a messy, but this isn't bad compared to what the other days were. Um, we have another we have a window here to uh, do here. I think I'm going to put plastic over that real quick today sometime. You can't forget to do it. But anyway, that's where we are right now with the windows and the drywall. So, my batteries are getting low, so I'm going to have to recharge the batteries and start to doing some other things here. Alright. Okay, um, this is Friday night, October 29th, 2010 and I did not complete the um, the drywall. It was just a little too wet today, sand, and I didn't really feel like I'm going home tomorrow, going back to Saginaw tomorrow. And what I did do today was, uh, well, I had to move all my tools, everything out from this room. This is going to be the bedroom right here that we're looking at. I had all my tools laying in here, and I uh, so I could put down some more subfloor and uh, moved all my tools from there all the way into here is going to be uh, uh, one room I can't remember what we're going to call it anyway the front room of the upstairs anyway I moved um, all my tools from there so I could start to put some subfloor down I uh, did put two uh, sheets of uh, OSB down for subfloor is what they are and here I have my uh, little template here that I use for uh, screwing in the subfloor and actually what I did I just uh, cut myself out a uh, a 4 foot by 14 inch piece of cardboard and I uh, uh, drilled holes uh, six inches apart uh, all around the parameter. And how I use this is I, I start out on, uh, and I lay it down on the on the sheet of OSB like so, on the corner edge, and. Uh, I do the perimeter first every six inches all the way around and six inches there to there and I got a foot and then I do the 12 inch marks on the inside and after I get that all done I move it down to the next uh, foot mark and I do the parameter and the 12 inch mark again 
the 6 inches and 12 inches and I move it down again and I keep on going like that and I'm putting in the screws and this way you don't have to measure or anything like that it uh, works pretty good uh, and that works seems to work, work very fine for me it uh, took a lot of less time for me to uh, uh, drill uh, to drill those screws in. So anyway, um, that's how this is going, and I think I had last night where I took a movie all around and I looked at everything. I have the drywall set up and I got the mud started on here and everything. I still have uh, some places I guess to have to sand. We may put some more mud on, but it's coming right along. And once I get that done and the uh, the subfloor here, then I can start partitioning off. And uh, there's going to be a doorway someplace over here to uh, come from uh, this front room and into. Uh, the bedroom over there. I'm not exactly sure where the door is going to be, the doorway, but then there will be some closets someplace around here too. Well, we're going to have to figure this all out. You know, we're kind of going and doing this by ear, so that's what we have so far. And I don't know if this will be my last day here uh, for the year or. I'll come back one more time. Now I'll be able to put some more subfloor down and finish up the, the drywall here. And probably prime it all up and have that all ready. And then I can put the doors on. I might uh, be able to do that. But anyway, this is what I've got so far. And I've been working on this uh, all summer since about uh, April, end of April, May. And coming every two weeks, staying for two weeks and working on this. And okay, uh, and we all know what uh, what the bathroom inside here looks like. I got everything set up. This is my little computer room here. When I want to go online and email, I have my computer that I can sit down and just take that and on my lap and get online. So I that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go online and check email. And my cakes, my wife, and email. So I'll be heading out to Saginaw tomorrow morning as early as I can when I get up. Load up the truck and there I go. Okay, good night. <laughs>